Hey guys, um, uh, sorry I've kind of been not so active recently, but whatever. Um, I've kind of been lazy about my editing, so that tutorial, I'm just gonna redo it. I give up. I'm just redo- I- it takes too much editing. I'm gonna redo it and make it easier for me to edit because I'm tired of doing it. It was like one of those ones where you just keep filming and I had a couple mistakes that I had to fix off film and it was just like, ugh, don't want to deal with this. So... That's that. That's my that's my updates. Um, moving on, I wanted to talk today about something that someone, a speaker, came to our school at, last week and spoke about something that um, is a pretty common topic. Bullying. I mean, we've all heard those stupid talks. Like, okay, we get it. Don't bully people. Obviously, we're gonna do it anyways. I think most of you guys, if you're a viewer, have probably realize that because no matter even if you're the if you're the person being bullied I'm sure you've noticed like nothing changes after those talks like nothing absolutely nothing no more awareness like the kids that are doing it chances are unless they find something that really speaks to them they're not gonna listen to it um and this was one of those things where I think some of them a lot of them actually listen to it and I really liked that. Um, a lot of them, because we had a class discussion today in one of our classes, and even though it was last Friday, um, we had a class discussion today about it, and a lot of the kids, um, a lot of them seemed to be affected, though most of them, I suppose, weren't really bullies anyways, but, I mean, I was glad that some of the kids that you would, you know, like those popular kids, those are supposed to be air quotes, didn't work, um, popular kids, sorry I'm holding papers, um, you know, a lot of them were affected by it, so I kind of liked that, but, you know, the jerks in my class are still going to be the jerks, like, nothing's going to change, but I just want kind of, wanted to, I'm not going to share his story, maybe I'll share a bit of it, but I just wanted to say that if you ever get the chance to see Sean Forrest, or if you just check out his Facebook or something, amazing guy. Um, not the Satanist. Apparently there's a Satanist with the same name. It's, it's Sean Forrest. S, I think it's, I don't know how to spell, how he spells Sean, but I can look it up right now. He spells it S-E-A-N. Yep, S-E-A-N, Forrest with two R's. Um, and he's an amazing speaker. He does, he's not one of those stupid adults, he, like, he's an adult, guys, and he's not one of those stupid ones who just, like, talks at you, like, oh, guys, we're gonna talk about bullying. Okay, don't do it, kids, it's wrong. Yeah, no, not like that, or not like, you're all such insolent idiots that kill each other, like, no, he was actually really, like, good. Um, he came in, we all assumed at our school that he was going to talk about abortion because the pro-life club booked him. So we were all like, uh, abortion again. Yeah. And, because, you know, we, you get a lot of talks about that. And it's just like, ugh. But you get a lot of talks about bullying, too. We just weren't expecting it. Um, we got in there, and he was playing his guitar, and he was being like the biggest idiot <laughs> you could ever expect to see like he was just belting out actually he, he was singing on on tune so I can't say he was belting out a tune but he was belting out like random song lyrics he's a singer songwriter um random song lyrics he was just partying and he was like having us all sing along with him and we're like oh this is kind of fun actually and then he started talking about like his experience in like middle school and he got further into that and he started off with a lot of joking and then suddenly it just took a really deep turn. And it was just like, whoa. Okay, where did that go? And it was just like, whoa. I didn't know that we were going to get into that. And it was about bullying. And, ah! Fudge your nugget. I just drew on myself. Well, that's not going to come out now. Oh, wait, yeah, it will. Sorry. <laughs> this is a new jacket, so I'm kind of, like, freaking out now. Um, 
so he came in and he talked about that, but he talked about it really well. And I don't want to like share anything in case you ever do get to see him, but it's an amazing talk. And if you ever see any posters or anything where you're giving the, given the option to go see it or ask, talk to your schools about booking him. It's actually really amazing and life changing. I'm not answering. Okay, speaking of bullying, I'm being bullied. Um, I'm bullied by my friends. <laughs> um, if you ever feel uncomfortable in a situation where your friends have suddenly, what started off like sort of innocent, has suddenly taken a dark. Um, sickening road. Just tell them you're not replying. <laughs> Just tell them you're not replying. Uh, um, but there's this one kid in my class that I want to talk about, and I'm not going to name names. It's a boy. I mean, there's tons of kids in my class bully. Don't, like, even start about that. I'm kind of at the bottom of the food chain, too, though, so even though I, I do try to stick up for them, um, I don't have much of an influence. Unfortunately, which kind of sucks because a lot of the kids that are bullied are like my best friends. And this one, he's not really my friend, but he sits next to me. He sat next to me for two years now in two separate classes. And he's really sweet. Well, sometimes, sometimes he can be a bit of a jerk, but I really don't blame him. He's a jerk to the kids that are mean to him. So, you know, in all honesty, they kind of deserve it. Um, not that anyone deserves you being mean to them. You should at least try to be the bigger person, but let's face it, that doesn't always work. Uh, let's face it, we don't e always take that advice. So, um, but, like, there's this one other kid in my class who is, like, the most outright, like, makes fun of him. And it's just like, okay. And, like, the best is, even the other, like, you know, popular kids, even they'll be like, you know, leave him alone. Like, this is so stupid. Like, you know, why are you picking on him? And this kid will just be like, Listen, shut up, no one cares. And she's like, oh my god, what is wrong with you? Um... Now it's not a sickening dark twist. I'm sorry. My friends are being really discuss they're boys a lot of my friends are guys and I can't figure out where they're going with this conversation <laughs> so I'm kind of getting scared because if I don't respond they're gonna say something disgusting and I'm gonna want to cry um so that's really all I wanted to talk about it was like don't be that kid especially okay if if no one's telling you to stop not that you shouldn't stop but if no one's telling you to stop I understand okay you're just confused like Okay, we all make fun of people at some point or another. Um, if you keep picking on them, that's really jerkish. I suggest you stop. But I'm not going to say that it's wrong. I'm going to say that it's it's wrong. But I'm not going to tell you, like, you have to stop. Because you're not going to take my advice. And I can't control your life. That's not my business. Um... But it's my business when you're picking on someone who's helpless. This kid in my class has Asperger's. He's got a social disability. That's what that is. In all honesty, my brother grew, My brother has severe autism. So I know the forms of autism and I know what they are. And in the simplest form, Asperger's is mostly social. And that's really mean to make fun of someone who, who can't do anything about it. That's a jerk move. But if your friends, especially if your friends are telling you to stop, listen to your friends. If your friends are egging you on to do something that you know is wrong, don't listen to them. That's when you say no. Like, that's bad peer pressure. But when you know that they're telling you that you something you know is right, listen to them. That's good peer pressure. There's levels of peer pressure. You have to say yes to the good and no to the bad. It's like everything else in the world. And I just wanted to say that because it happened again today in my class and this kid is really sweet and I try to be friendly with him and I try to talk to him but he gets shy and he gets scared and 
he's not entirely up for talking, especially to someone who he thinks, like, he's one of the few people I'm actually kind of above the pecking order in, pecking order, in, and, like, I guess he just doesn't want to talk to me, but, I mean, if you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. Just don't pick on him because it's ridiculous. Don't pick on that one kid. If you're going to pick on anyone, pick on yourself. I try to do it all the time. I have this one friend who loves to talk shit about everyone. And I just go, haha, that's fine. They're better than I am. Like, even if it's something I don't do, like, oh, she sucks at lacrosse. Ha! <laughs> She's better than I am. I don't even play that sport. <sighs> so, you know, make jokes about yourself. Avoid talking about other people with friends you know are big gossips. Because that's not right. That's what I try to do. Sometimes you can't always... You can always avoid it, but sometimes you just... You make a wrong decision. That's fine, too. It, it just... Keep in mind what you, ha what you say and what you do has an effect on other people. The teen suicide rate has shot through the roof. You might think it's just because of Facebook that you know about it all, or Twitter, or the news. Guys, there's still tons that you don't know about and that you won't find out about via any of those things and they have a voice too it's a proven fact the teen suicide rate has shot through the roof the suicide rate overall has shot through the roof but especially the teen suicide rate so just remember that please don't cause the next victim I love you all Bye.